Okay guys, the PRP workout is finally here. Over the last 10 years, I've taken many different PRP workouts. What I did is I took my favorite ingredients and I put them into a PRP workout. One scoop has been more than enough to get me ready to PR. Guys, I urge you to try this, you will not be disappointed. Thank you so much guys, I love you. So today for me, yoke walk. Frame carry, that's the first time for me. I'm assuming frame carry is very similar to bomber's walk. Yeah, it's very really similar. Yeah. And then uh, safety bar squats, keep the legs strong. Oh yeah. Awesome. And yourself, I think you're doing a lot of clean uh, I'm doing a lot body in lock, mainly focusing on lock, and, um, and some upper body. Nice. What's the lock going up to today? 160 kilos for five reps. For five, okay. Yeah. Uh, and then the week after that, it's going to be heavy lock. Uh, on Wednesday, I'm going for a big deadlift. Okay. So I'm training today, rest of the morning, and big deadlift. I don't know if he's more excited than I am for that big deadlift on Wednesday. <laughs> I'm super excited to see it. I'm super excited to see it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's going to be fun. Yeah, it's good. Woo! Wow! Go! 
Yes, on the yoke. Uh, I thought taking longer steps is a way to move the yoke faster. And I say that because at the competition, I was um, taking very small baby steps. I looked on my left and the guy wasn't moving his feet as quickly, but he was taking longer steps. He was traveling much more distance with each step. Um, while my feet were moving faster, I was traveling a lot less distance with each step. So um, I just had to worry about not making too long of a step, but not too short of a step where it's like a baby step and I'm not covering much ground with each step. Um, so just slightly smaller steps than when I was taking on the first set, because I fell on the second one, the steps I was taking were too small and I wasn't moving my feet any faster. Um, so yeah, just slightly smaller steps than I was in the first set. But one, I have to look in the video, they're like strides, you know. Um, I'm not like I was jogging, but they're pretty long steps. They're just a little bit smaller and faster. But not too small, where it's like I'm shuffling my feet. There you go. Come on. Steps. Come on. There you go. Come on, honey. Come on. I did, and I really try to squeeze here harder, so I can, I'm not so forward and more mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I've moved faster that way. Yeah, I did. All the sets before that, I felt like I was just stomping all the weights like on my quads. So, it's like with each step I'm getting lower and lower. But this one, I fought really hard to squeeze the glutes, almost lean back a little bit. Your back straight? Get my back straight, exactly. And not look down at the floor, but look up. Because when I squat, I don't look down. I look straight up. You want to move forward. Exactly. Yeah. Good job. Oh! 
Let's be honest. Now you tried someone. Um, out of these three bodybuilding, powerlifting, and someone, what's your favorite? What do you like the most? You know, uh, by far, strongman. You know, yeah, yeah, by far, strongman. Um, out of the three, I would say bodybuilding is the bottom of the list as far as what my favorites are. Mm -hmm. And I'm interested in getting my pro card in bodybuilding. Um, could I still care about adding inches to my biceps and quads and getting shredded? I still care very much about my physique, but not to the extent of being Mr. Olympia or even being on the Olympia stage. I don't have enough passion and drive to make that happen. You know, I have enough drive to get my pro card and do what it takes to get that, you know. Um, and with powerlifting, you know, having the two records I've broken is very satisfying. Um, and there's one more that I'd love to get, which is the three-weight record that Eric Liebridge holds in knee sleeves. I really want to get that record. Um, and I'm in a rush to do it. But uh, after I get that record, I'm not going to be competing in powerlifting anymore. And that is because now, Strongman has a big place in my heart. There's 20 or so different movements I can learn and get better at. And I, I enjoy doing almost all of them. Mm -hmm. And I feel... Maybe I can't be the world's strongest man, 
but I can still compete at the highest level, you know? And it works well, not only just because I love doing it, but also for my social media and what I stand for, you know, PR, it's baking, um, beating your best. So, so far, there's nothing I dislike about Strongman. Yeah, definitely. You know? And yeah, we can't really judge right now if you you're gonna be the world's first man or not. You're so new, you're so new, new to the um, uh, Strongman community, but you've been improving very fast. And with this year, we can see very fast, like how far you can go, you know? But you know, I have all believe in you, and I think you can go very far. And uh, if you put your, like, your time and, and mind and energy into Strowman, I, I, I think you can go all the way to the top if you want to. It's all about how bad you want it, you know. You, you know, uh, being only 24 years old, having the strength you have, you know, it's, in, it's, in, um, it's incredible. And you have the time with you, so we'll see. That's true. Thank you, man. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, and then guys, <laughs> drop a comment on which of the three you like seeing me do, whether it's bodybuilding or you like seeing me hit a squat bench or Della PR or you want to see me continue to pursue, pursue strongman. Mm -hmm. I'm curious when you guys think. Just drop a comment. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Put some weight on the bar. <laughs> <laughs> Put some fucking weight on the bar. Then you can show me show and and we and we, we um a run up a run. I thought <laughs> it was that last I thought last year it was no La, straps. Last year no straps. If you remember right, it was four hundred kilograms. Yeah, I remember being eight eighty up a uh, up a ramp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, four hundred kilograms. Yeah, that's a lot. 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 Yeah, that's a yeah, actually what I did last year, I went outside and I trained for that. You brought this out? brought this out and I found a uh, place where I could run it up, up. A slight incline? Yeah, a slight incline. Whatever it takes, guys. Whatever it takes. How I trained in the rain, snow and everything. Nice. I just make sure to salt the floor, you know, and make sure to nothing was slippery, you know? Yeah. 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 Whatever it takes, you know. Yeah. Become number one. That's right. It works. It works. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's not about being, you know. Well, you have to be good, basically, at everything to become number one. Right. Uh, because in Strongman, we compete in so many different uh, movement exercises. If you have one weakness, you know. For example, uh, I won everything last year. And that's pretty impressive. Absolutely, usually, yeah. usually guys they they might win one show because that show uh, the events uh, fitted him. You know, was good for that athlete. You know, uh, that can happen that um, some guy is, is very very good at frame and very good at yoke, and, and then they have a couple more events that he's just very good at, and he can actually win that show. But then if you put up a different show that might be more endurance or throw events or grip events, you know. <coughs> be the case you could win win. So being able to win uh, everything one year, like all the best shows, it is pretty impressive because no show has the same events. So 
it means that I had to be good at so many different exercises right. throughout the year. No weakness. No weakness, basically. I remember in an earlier video I asked you, so what are your favorite events? And then you said, well, you went to list one after the next, after the next. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I remember when I was younger, I had, then I had like least favorite events, and then I had, you know, my favorite events. But now, I don't really have any least favorite event or, or my most favorite event. I, I basically just like them all. I train them all equally. I, I try to focus on the, on the exercises that I'm going to compete in. Um, so I prioritize, prior, prioritize the events that I'm, the, the next show, like now I'm training for Arden Classic in Columbus, Ohio. So I'm prioritizing those events. I just basically train those events, nothing else. Then I, then I obviously do deadlift squats. I do squats now, but nothing crazy heavy. I basically just to maintain my strength in my legs. I'm trying to save, uh, uh, because I, I'm not competing in squats, so I don't need to push myself and waste too much energy in the squat moment. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Nice. Yep. Nice. Too bad, just ripping my hands open. Yeah, the knurling's pretty aggressive. Uh, can't see it. It's not ripping it open yet, but I think it will be after the end. Yeah, when I'm done. The PR belt's still in production. Can't wait to get rid of this one. Come on, Larry. Come on. Come on, let's do this. Nice, nice. Come on. Next up, try to hold a little bit. So where, where were you holding? This is the middle. So if you just aim to be like this, to here. Okay. It should be the best bones. So, more like here, not here. So you say instead of the middle here. Where's you? On the middle. Like here. Okay. Okay. Try that. Okay, I try. Okay guys, so just something I've learned today is that when I'm doing all the moving events, farmer's walk, frame carry, yoke, my head's down looking at my feet and what happens when you do that, is what I just realized today, is that the weight ends up pulling you um, forward because your head's down and your body tends to go where your eyes are, where your eyes and head are, right? So my eyes and head are straight down trying to watch my feet because I was so focused on that. So what ended up happening, instead of the weight being more loaded on my posterior chain with my glutes and hamstrings, right, it's more on my anterior, which is just all quads, and I think every step, putting just stomping and like almost like getting lower and lower with each step, and um, my means my back is rounding more and more, because my body wants to go where my head and eyes are. So, easy fix, 
Just pick the head up. Look forward. That's the direction you're going. You're not going straight down. You're looking forward. And then what that does is you have a yoke on your back, right? Now the weight is where it's supposed to be, right? And you're squeezing your glutes, hamstrings, and not waddling, but keeping the feet um, close together, not too wide, and then just head forward. And then once I started doing that, it felt much more smooth with each step. I felt like I wasn't stomping anymore or I wasn't um, getting lower and lower with each step. Now it just feels like consistent steps. And also it doesn't feel as, I don't feel as much strain on my knees because now the weight is uh, being supported by the biggest muscles in my body, not just my quads. Glutes and hammies, glutes and hammies, yeah. Uh. So I didn't graduate elementary school, and this is 283 kilograms, not 270. So I'm squatting roughly 30 pounds heavier than I thought I was, which would explain why I feel incredibly difficult right now. The program said 270, so at 30 pounds, when you're really dead tired, make a huge difference. But, well, since I've been doing it, I'll, oh, shit, I got, I'll just do one more set, 283. Shit. Yeah, fuck, come on. 
One, four. Come on, Larry. Uh. One, two, uh. Alright guys, another successful training session today at Thor's Power Gym. Today, long day. I was in here four hours. Started with a yoke walk. Worked on taking that proper step. Getting in my head position. Second, frame carry. That was my first time. The knurling on the ball is pretty aggressive. So a little painful on the hands at first. Um, and had a little difficulty getting my hand position so I can bounce away properly. But once I did that, had my head and eyes forward. It felt good. Uh, next up, 100 kilograms each hand, the incline dumbbell, four reps. Last time I did that, last time I touched heavy dumbbells on the incline bench was like eight or nine months ago. So I'm excited to see that my strength held up because five reps, with 100 kilograms the most I've ever done. And that's when I was training for the movement and I haven't been training for it at all. So it's awesome that I was able to maintain that strength after this much time has passed. Typically your strength declines a little bit if you don't train to move for a long time. Uh, then ended it with safety bar squats to keep the legs strong. I uh, miscalculated because, you know, I'm already exhausted and I thought there's 270 in the bar. There's really 283. So I was squatting heavier than I was supposed to. Now to explain why it felt so difficult, the program I called for 270. Anyways, all in all, did everything on the program. Did what I was told by my coach. Please like, subscribe, thumbs up, turn on post notifications, and drop a comment if there's anything you want to see while I'm still here in Iceland. See you guys soon.